Good morning. Welcome to lectures online for Asindibad Private School, English language, for grade eight by Basil Ali. Unit seven, lesson four. We have two things. Student book, please keep the rivers clean, page 76, and activity book, lesson one, two, three. Now we are going to begin with this reading passage, which is a bit important because it, it talks about rivers and pollution. Uh, Iraq, with its two great rivers running the length of the country, is unable to provide drinking water for most of its people. There are a lot fewer fish than there were before. Now try to make marks with your highlighters. The two rivers are polluted with sewage, rubbish, and industrial waste. Millions of tons of waste go into the rivers and streams every year. This destroys the natural habitats of the wildlife and damages our beautiful rivers. Habitats be a It also causes a huge damage to health. The river water must be safe for drinking, fishing, swimming and boating. We can make our rivers safer and healthier for wildlife and people. In fact, everyone should do something to keep the rivers clean. First, we must stop littering. Littering for we can make teams of volunteers to pick up the rubbish along the banks. The river will clean itself if we stop littering. Then we can also lead river cleanup efforts. People can force the government to do something to stop sewage and waste from factories, hospitals, and power stations following, uh, flowing into the rivers, flowing into the rivers. Remember, you are the solution to river pollution if we want to have clean rivers, we must have clean minds. Now, we'll go to the activity book and we'll see that in lesson one, we have, uh, we, we talked about uh, headlines in newspapers and we, we told you that uh, those sentences are not complete sentences. It they doesn't, uh, they don't, sorry, they don't have uh, verbs. They are phrases, we said. So, here, the moving desert is swallowing up Iraq. So, we omit the, and only make this in capital M, and moving desert is swallowing up, it becomes a headline. Then, a green team are cleaning up Iraqi's desert. We omit a, a and it will stay. Uh, okay. The number of wild leopards is in sharp decline. Here, it we omit the number of and make the capital W make it capital, it becomes, wild leopards is in sharp decline. decline. Water pollution 
a huge, we omit is, a huge danger to the local pollution of wildlife. Then we have listen to, and here we use in B, uh, A, we have words, and we should know how to, how to pronounce these words and where to put the uh, stress. Something. It is on the beginning. Advertise. Advertise. It is here. Everyone. Everyone. It is on the beginning. Playground. Playground. The stress is here. Headmistress. Headmistress. It's here on the M. Now, in B, we have to complete these sentences using either should or must. And we talked about these two words in the past or in the previous lecture. We should do or must also. We can say we should do or we must do our homework. And as we said, must is stronger than should. Two, we should eat five pieces of fruit or vegetables every day. Three, people should do what they say they are going to do. Four, you must wear a seat belt on the plane when it is taking off and lang landing. And also, number five, you must take a rest before you can drive a car. Now, in the following, uh, in here, these are not completely important, and we are going to skip to page 797. Here we have, in lesson three, we have these words, right, wetlands, you are wrong, disagree, see, agree. Blue wells live in the forest. I disagree. Blue wells live in the sea. This is an agreement, and this is, you, you, you are telling his, him your op opinion. Two, golden turds live in the desert. I think you are wrong. This is disagreement. Golden turds live in the wetlands. Three, snow leopards live in high, cold places. I agree. You are right. Thank you very much, and good.